Hi guys, I'm Nitin. You're watching B for You, and today, today we are in Harrow for the Indian Property Mela. Now I do like this time of year because we get to talk to all the developers and find out all about their latest projects, the new innovation and new styles going on out there. But on that note, you know, I had a little idea too. I think you guys are going to love it. It's basically printing money. Check it out. I can see it right now. See it with me. Hollywood land. Yeah, you can see it, can't you? Just like Hollywood, we'll have Bollywood land over the over the over the green grass. We'll have Katrina, Deepika, Anushka. I can see it now. They'll all be there. They'll all be there. All the celebs. I'm I'm I'm, I'm liking this idea. Maybe you guys can uh, help me make this a reality. Let's go see what we can do. I'm joined now by Councillor Ajay Maru, who's actually also a former uh, mayor of Harrow, is that right? That's right, yes. Hi, um, good morning, uh, Nitin. Uh, as you said, my name is Councillor Ajay Maru, uh, former mayor of Harrow, year 14-15, also a councillor in Kenton West, uh, which I represent since 2010, and an assistant portfolio holder for business and enterprise of Harrow. So yes, it's a lot of things up your sleeve. Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, but I'm delighted to be here on uh, sort of uh, various notes and stuff like that. Being an assistant portfolio holder, also representing the mayor of Harrow, as being one of the past mayors of Harrow, um, it's great to be here and to see uh, there's so much uh, sort of. Uh, to be offered by India and a lot of people who want to invest uh, into India or retire in India, um, you know, it's absolutely brilliant because when I look across the room, uh, it's a one-stop shop where uh, people have come together and able to make your journey so smooth in terms of uh, acquiring properties or investing into properties or your retire home really. And India, as we know, is so vast and big. You could actually invest into anywhere or everywhere but uh, they've pinpointed a few a lot of exciting places which uh, I personally uh, would love to if I have the money to do that uh, but absolutely brilliant to be here and uh, see what's been offered really. You know speaking of which I mean I've often we, we, we've covered these kind of melas the property melas for 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 years now and I always like to look at the transition of what goes on in those years I mean let's talk about just maybe from the last year or so and, and what's happened in the, in the world, what with, let's call it Trumpism, if you will, and, and, and even in our own country with Brexit and, and, and the elections of late, um, certainly there's uncertainty, but it doesn't, I don't know how it's really affected investors, NRIs, wanting to invest in properties in India. Maybe not so much, it still seems to be so buoyant, doing so well, and so many, so many different variations of projects out there for people to invest in, so it's, it's still happening. It doesn't seem to have affected it. No, I mean, absolutely rightly, as you said, Nitin, um, I think people just have just said that life has to carry on. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, uh, each one to their own. Uh, though it might, we might go through some huddles in life, well that's life, uh, but then again on, on, on the positive note of things and stuff like that, yeah, people would want to uh, sort of invest or have some sort of uh, retirement or some form of uh, home in India which uh, where probably they belong or they come from, whether uh, it was their generation or a few generations behind, like I'm the third generation, uh, though I'm from actually Kenya. Uh, I'm born and bred in Kenya, actually, but my grandparents come from India, you know. So yes, there's a highly and high uh, sort of potential where people would want to uh, invest into uh, overseas, as especially maybe from India, as as what we are here for today. Brilliant stuff. Well, we we'll look forward to seeing what the rest of the day brings. Thank you very much you for joining yeah, nice us. Nice to have met you. Thanks for your time. Guys, I'm joined now by Ankur from Kanankia and um, you know, I'm looking behind us and we've got Paris, rainforest, we've got so many different themes going on. Yes. That's really interesting. Tell me a little bit about how you decide on the themes for your, for your projects. Okay. Uh, 
just let me give you a little brief about okay. what Kanakya is all about. So it's a 32 year old brand, mm -hmm. very diversified. Uh, we are into real estate, which is our flagship company. But apart from that, we are also into uh, education. We are into hospitality, and we are. Uh, there, there was a cinema chain back home in India called Cinemax. So we are uh, the first people to actually get that in India. Yeah. Now we've sold it to PVR. But uh, that's. I mean, it's a diversified group altogether. Now, uh, since last three, three and a half years, Kanakya took a step. You know, where they thought that rather than giving vanilla projects, you know, plain simple vanilla projects to our clients. Let's go ahead and you know build some theme around them, yeah. because uh, and Bombay is going international altogether. You know India is definitely going international. So why not give those kind of products to people as well? And uh, Bombay as a city, I mean Mumbai as a city, people have that kind of uh, taste. They have that kind of money, and they want that kind of luxury. So that's how the scheme, uh, the thing came about. You know building projects around uh, themes. So yes, some fancy names like Paris, like Rainforest, but then. The products are also very fancy. Like this particular baby is actually built uh, on a Parisian theme altogether. It's in Bandra Kurla complex, which is the hottest selling destination in Mumbai right now. And uh, we're creating a kind of a landmark here with this particular project. Rainforest is majorly keeping the, um, you know, rainforests in Brazil and in uh, Amazon area, keeping that in mind because this location is as such that it overlooks one of the greenest areas in Bombay. Which certainly helps. Yeah. Yes. So have you recreated little Eiffel towers and yes, little absolutely. bits of rainforest. Yes. Wow. So the, if in this particular project you would find, let's say, uh, you know, a, a replica of the Eiffel Tower, a, a replica of the Louvre. So you have those kind of facilities. The facade is very Parisian. In, uh, you know, to see That's and, great. and uh, great projects. So with, with the Indian weather as well. <laughs> yes, the Indian weather, uh, weather is definitely hot, but then yes, the property is very hot as well. <laughs> Nicely done. I like that. I'm looking at this as well. Yes. India's first snow spa. Oh yes. That looks pretty cool. Tell me about that. Snow, uh, snow spa in a residential complex. Wow. It's been done by Arya Sana. And uh, so Bombay, as you say, Mumbai does not have that kind of weather as we spoke earlier. Yeah. Yes. So, but if you know, uh, we cannot get snow. Let you know. Let's get some snow spa there. So that that was the entire. Basically, bringing the whole world to yes. Mumbai. Yes. This is this is this is. These are like hammams. You know, these are hammams. So, and uh, if you get that in a residential project, this is the first of one of its kind, and the first one there. And uh, we got this. I, I got an idea. Mm -hmm. When 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 you open this up, or if it's already open, have a little celebration day. I think maybe invite <laughs> Katrina Cave, <laughs> and, and and me and the cameraman can come too, because we like Katrina, right? Why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Nice one. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you, guys. I'm actually joined now by Mihir Shah from Services for NRI. There you see there, and um, you know, we talked about this before, Mihir. Yeah. These 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 kind of Indian property melas that you put on. The mayor, the, the councillor said it today yeah. as well, a complete one-stop shop for anyone Correct. wanting to invest Correct. in India. Correct. And I like this line here because everything that goes on resolve all matters without travelling to India. That's true. That's How true. big of a selling point is that for the guys who come down? Yeah, first of all, Nitin, thank you for coming down to our India Property Mela. And uh, we are glad to host the sixth property mela in UK. And uh, yes, we are a one-stop shop for NRIs. Uh, so we started, I started this company about four years ago and we have offices in Harrow, Leicester and Reading and we provide all services like buying selling of properties, getting OCI card, PAN card uh, and also if you have property valuation in India, if you have any legal issues in India, you don't have to go to anywhere else, come to us and we'll resolve everything for you and without traveling to India. So that's it, that's what we do. Make it sounds so easy over here. Yeah, it's easy thing for me, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, for, so we are making everyone's life easy here. Yeah. We don't want to uh, end up uh, because there are people there is a time difference India UK uh, and the people uh, the professionalism in India as compared to us we are here and we are a UK company so we are in UK so people can talk to us as their leisure time that makes a massive difference to not have to deal on the phone you can actually go down have a cup of tea yeah. and talk yeah have a masala tea <laughs> <laughs> we like that yeah, yeah. Um, so, so yeah we, we uh, yeah that's what you we are face to face there is nothing on phone calls there is no call center answering calls or anything yeah. it's just you just come to us give us your problem and we'll try to resolve all this problem but majority what we are looking into 
it we are doing into properties and investments in lands and property yeah. that's our speciality we don't do any other thing in india so all this if you want to buy sell if you want to put your property on rent you want to you know whatever you want to do relating to your investments come to us you can manage it all yeah we manage it all we can do everything from here brilliant stuff it, it, it certainly does provide a really great alternative to the, the sort of returns we're getting from this country now because we're, we're getting squeezed in the property market here in england but speci especially in london actually yeah so basically pros brexit the prices have gone down and also the currency has uh, fluctuated very means in a negative directions mm. so the property definitely investment in india is always a good and as we know mr modi is promoting india everywhere and the the there's so much investment going in india today so people would love to uh, go and make that opportunity to make money out of it and and you know some of the exhibitors here today how do you i was going to ask how are you actually deciding on who you bring down to these india property mellers because we've got a good mix of developers a good mix of locations and also yeah. a good mix of project styles yeah so basically um, uh, that's the reason what we do we identify that's on purpose right you did that on purpose yeah <laughs> strategy. strategy so basically the strategy is that um, say this ha this uh, mela is happening in harrow so now we know in harrow and surrounding borough of harrow what kind of population indian population are there so we have a gujaratis more of a gujaratis there are more of a south indians there more they, in, if you go to hounslow and south all there are more of a punjabis so we see, we we demographically look after the who are there and accordingly we invite that kind of developer to come down so nice. so so we don't want so it's we have to make demand and supply has to match then only we'll get a business. Simple we'll as that. We're getting an economics lesson right here as well from here. I like this. <laughs> Man, while we're on the you know topic of you know economics and business, yeah. you know, last time I met you, you know, we we had a few ideas. We got yeah. to talking, and yeah. you know, I, I still think we have this. There's so much money to make. We, we we've got this idea. Yeah. Um, we talk about it all the time at B for You. Think of this, right? A development. Okay. Right. right? Not 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 Paris, not Miami, which are all good stuff. Yeah. Bollywood land. Wow. And uh, I know you, you love Deepika. And Katrina and Priyanka. And K Priyanka also. And no, but Priyanka. Anushka. I mean, I'll, any, yeah, all, I mean, if we could get all of them as, yeah. you know, staff at yeah. Bollywood, I mean, come on. Yeah. That's, you, we're just printing money now. Of course, definitely. This everyone everyone from here will be there with us. I, we will, I will, let's go. Let's, let's go, I, let's go. This is what we need to set up. Let's go, let's go, go, let's go, 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 go set up. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this.